When Duval County students return to class on the 14th, they may notice these new sensors installed in the ceiling all around their school inside and out. They kind of look like a smoke detector, but they're not. They're actually part of a new security system that allows any teacher or staff member to alert police immediately should there be an emergency on campus. And we are the first television station to see how this new tech works. It starts with pressing this special key card eight or more times, which triggers sensors that will blink red, notifying everyone in all classrooms, standing by their lockers in the hallway, eating in the cafeteria, even walking in any stairwell, there is a code red lockdown. It'll start coming on over the intercom, giving the students the exact um, rules of what they're supposed to do during that lockdown period. Jim Culbert, chief information officer for Duval County Schools, so says if a teacher is in the middle of a lesson, like it will also be That's interrupted just... by this message on their projection screen. And if they're working on their computer, there will be an alert there too, along with a voice telling everyone, lock classroom doors, turn off the lights, be quiet, and prepare to evade or defend. That same time, it's actually sent to the mobile phones of the, of the police officers that are here on campus, obviously the staff that's here um, at the school, and then cabinet members, the superintendent, and all of our wonderful police officers um, that work for the district. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office will also receive the lockdown alert. Every teacher and staff member must wear the key card, which has GPS. Today's demonstration is at La Villa School of the Arts. So this is actually a zoomed in full map of uh, La Villa. And then this is actually who I am. And then my room location, exactly where the alert came up. And this is the same thing that would happen on, on district uh, phones, would also receive the same alert. Receiving a map that triangulates the location of the emergency, in this case, room 215 at La Villa. You know the exact location and you know who. So there's no trying to figure out, there's no grabbing walkies, trying to figure out who initiated the alert, who did what. You just go. Assistant Principal Johnson Joseph says the new security system is a game changer. What do you like the most from what you know so far about this compared to the previous system? Oh, uh, just just the availability and and the response time. So with the old system, you would have to use a device. I would have to pull out my cell phone and and look for the app and then set the alert with this. It's on my badge, on my person. All I have to do is quickly tap the um, card and my alert goes off. A card that gives staff an immediate connection to 911 to help protect your kids on campus. And when a lockdown is ended, an all clear can then be just as easily issued throughout the entire school. The sensors will turn green as you see here and flash. Alerts will also post that on teacher computers and projectors like you see. These cards will also be used, by the way, to trigger help for teachers in a classroom. You know, maybe there's a medical emergency or a problem with a student by pushing the card four times instead of eight or more times. Is the alert different? Does it look different if it's a medical emergency versus something yes, that's so security? Yes, so code red would be some kind of school emergency oh, like okay. a shoot, a shooter yeah. on campus or some kind of imminent threat on campus right. where you need to lock the kids down because okay. that's classrooms. scary you know for everybody on campus when they see that you just go on high alert all right so how much does this new security system cost so the district is responsible for eight hundred thousand dollars and that's every year the state through a grant is kicking in another two hundred thousand dollars so it's a million dollars a yeah, year yeah but you know what it, any cost peace of mind as, as, the, as the you know chief technology officer yeah. told me and, it, and it works if something happens they'll know particularly given how the previous system, which was really just a little mundane and took right, too long. And cumbersome. All right, so what happens if there's an emergency outside, like on the playground at the school? Yeah, so I, I asked that same question. As long as they have their key card, a teacher or staff members, as long as they have it on them, this is going to work anywhere anywhere on campus and they are as i mentioned required to carry it mm -hmm. i love that as a parent that does make you feel a peace of mind yeah. i felt i felt it you know in, in seeing that demonstration and then also st john's county they st. John's have the county same has the same system yeah and, right. and they implemented it in fact last school year that's awesome